Hey, dude. <laughs> Welcome back. I really, really did like that line in that uh, uh, ad that you just saw, saw right now. We can take a beating. That has to be your sense of humor. Somehow it can't, doesn't seem like anybody else. Yeah, yeah. We wanted to make all the ads actually that Kolkata Knight Riders is getting beaten and beaten and beaten. <laughs> But the rejoinder is, we can take a beating, but when we hit back, it's reloaded. <laughs> you you got to take a look at it and say, okay, I remember Ricky Ponting after one of the, you know, very sweetly, we were giving presents to him. He was going away earlier hmm. and we were giving presents to him and he said, uh, I got more presents than uh, runs than I, uh, that I made in IPL. And it was very sweet of him. I thought yeah. then, and everybody appreciates something like that, that you can take it sportingly. That was actually a very sweet thing you were doing, the little gift giving after each game, whether the team lost or not. So, in recessionary times, that continues in South uh, Africa? We've taken it back now because they came sixth. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's come back, give it an all. <laughs> so, you know? so right now you have a sense of humor, but last season when you actually did give us an interview saying losing is not an option for the KKR, then, then you felt bad when they finished sixth out of eighth. You felt I felt very bad. Yeah, I felt bad also because see there were reasons we lost, but I can't use them as excuses. Uh, we think we have reasons. The weather was there. Our full play team was not there. Whatever. But yeah, I I didn't expect our team to go down uh, to the level we did. Mm. Um, I, I believe it would do well, but you know, it was also beginning. We didn't know the scheduling thing. Hey, wo kahan gaya ke Gale? Gale's not with us. Brad Hodge. Oh, he's been taken to. We didn't know this stuff. You know how it works. I think we are better off this time. Again, scheduling of Australia uh, and West Indies will mm. give us an issue. Right. I wish it had started on the 11th. Gale would have played 10 matches. Mm. Now he play six. But six ke chhedi jayenge to kafi hai. Hopefully. <laughs> but if you're such big underdogs, then why didn't Shilpa Shetty buy into your team? She said the reason she liked the Rajasthan Royals is because they're such underdogs. But if you're such underdogs, then she No, she didn't say that. She said that. She said no because Rajasthan has Raj in it. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> no, I, I tried to uh, change the name. But and they hopefully said, no, you, you can't. I said Rajasthan Knight Riders, but then Kolkata <laughs> would have gotten angry again. Yeah. <laughs> you have an answer for everything, don't you? But Ask her. She said this to me. <laughs> That's not what she said in the press conference. But Charak, well, if you she still tells me things privately. <laughs> <laughs> well, you pushed her off a balcony, so obviously you get special yeah, favors. are scared of me. <laughs> and so but should you be now. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look at your team, um, do you hold it against people for saying that, you, that they would not pick a KKR team looking at their team sheet as their topmost team right now? Because you've lost your Pakistanis. Hmm, that's you, don't, idea. you don't have the most high profile South Africans, but for say a Charles Langeveld. But I was also just looking, the only one guy you have in your team right now who plays for India in all three forms of the game currently is Deshan Sharma. Nobody else. Yeah. And, and you're asking me, sorry. And so I'm asking you that you, would you hold it against people right now? No, I wanted the whole Indian team. I told uh, Lalit and IPL, you know, <laughs> can I buy the whole Indian team? You know, just give me the choice. He says, yeah, no. <laughs> You know, not all of them because some of them prefer the cold of Delhi and they want to hang around there. And, <laughs> and some of them like girls, so they've gone for Preeti and Shilpa's <laughs> team. Some of them like uh, big guys like Vijay, so they've gone there. But now you're uh, making excuses because no, there was an excuses, auction. I you think just, a, you see, just you needed what, to I, spend I, I, more I'll tell you money. honestly, I'll tell you honestly. Uh, you know, one, individually, you should know this and I'm sure you know this. Uh, I believe this, that individually nobody uh, attains anything, ever. If you're mm. playing, uh, even in life, it has to be a team play. Uh, I've always been a team player, even when I was younger in sports and in my profession. I am not, uh, you know, a lot of people think I, I'm a little humble, though my jokes are not humble. Uh, but it's not, it's genuinely true. I don't think I've done anything. There have to be a lot of people doing things with you. So a full team, the more is always, uh, you know, the, the sum is more than the sum of its, the whole is more than the sum of its parts. It's not right. just one or two guys. Yes, with the choices given, with the monies at, uh, available, at the auction strategy that was, uh, sort of known to us, uh, I think we have done the best we could and uh, then you believe in it, then you believe in it and go for it and yes, I don't know uh, how our team is rated, mm. last time it was rated third, we came sixth, this time if it's rated sixth, maybe we'll come first, <laughs> so I don't know how it goes, the ratings don't matter, yeah. I think uh, all of them coming together, this is what my job Which is, is what happened team. for Rajasthan Royals, absolutely, well, right? oh yeah, really, yeah. so inshallah, uh, you know. mashraf e that was quite the story of the second auction, as Harsha Bhugle said, the best part was not that he went from Fifty thousand dollars to six hundred thousand dollars, but that he had Preeti Zinta and Juhi Chavla fighting over him for half an hour. See, this is what happens when I don't go to auctions. <laughs> Girls fight over strange men and blow up all your money. And blow up all my money. <laughs> See, look at this. 
If I'd gone there, all the girls would have been fighting for me, and I come free. And But he's I, a good buy. You know, he's a fantastic he's, he's buy. He's a great buy. You have to say that. For the girls, maybe. Yeah, hundred percent. No, I'm just joking. I hope. Uh, uh, no, to fill in, fill in the holes that were created by I the think, absence uh, of Shwetha Bhattar and Omar uh, Gul. I think Omar Gul, uh, who is uh, more of an all-rounder. I think that's the gap we wanted to fill. But we'll have an issue playing was, him or John Thamendes. But was the Dhaka connection also a absolutely, factor? Absolutely, absolutely. It I was. Think it was. You know, I'll be very honest. Uh, when when I, I didn't come for the auction because uh, I was fighting with Lalit at that point of time, so I was uh, sulking, and uh, I sent an SMS that in, at night we had decided either it was uh, Dumini or uh, you know they fitted in the slots. And uh, you made a bid for Flintoff too. No, Flintoff. No, we didn't make a bid for Flintoff. Okay. I know we wanted to play for our team, but I didn't have the starting money. Only <laughs> he started at 1.1, and we yeah, only had that much money. Yeah, there was all these stories about how all so. of last year he'd been in touch with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very sweet. Both of them, Kevin and uh, I know a lot of them. They keep coming here. But uh, uh, what I was saying was that when when we thought that you know this this is also about spreading um, your franchise in a certain sense, and it has to uh, turn around and have more youngsters and people enjoying it. Bangladesh would be you know. So I tell everyone, everybody's got a city and a state. We have a city, a state, and a country now, mm. you know, which would have followed, uh, which would obviously because of the Bangla connection, mm. and also it falls in our what is known as the catchment area. Catchment, yeah. So this stadium is fantastic, you know, if you want to ever use it for practice, having practice games. So it's a, uh, it's it has it has a little strategic uh, business point of view also, hundred percent. Is this team too much about you? Because I noticed last year that Reebok did not market a single player's name. The only T-shirts you can buy if you go into a Reebok showroom is Can't Wealth. And that's true. Uh, you know, uh, so you think movies sell more than cricket? I don't know. You tell me. I'm more famous than all the cricket stars. You tell me. <laughs> no, just let's just go buy the T-shirt and you tell me. I don't know. I'm asking you. Why would that happen? Isn't there anybody? Isn't Saurav Ganguly big enough to sell T-shirts? Why does it only have to be Khan Twelve? Or are movie stars truly bigger than cricketers? I don't know. It's never happened to me before. This is the first incident. Somebody has given me so much importance, and I thank Reebok. <laughs> and the world, and I want to thank my mother. I want to thank God for all this fame that I I've got. I wonder how you create so much controversy. You're not, you're not answering a single one of my questions. <laughs> I don't know. See what happens is, I don't know I, how these these things work. Uh, you know, they, uh, I told them that uh, I'm very proud. But you are, you are the biggest selling point of your team. You acknowledge that. You know that. You need to cash into that. Can I be humble? I'm the biggest selling point of IPL. Um, so you know. I, I don't disagree with that. So then, I my team is also part of it. So so naturally, I'll be the right. biggest selling point of IPL. Let me kill me for you? saying Do that. Do they pay you? No, they're taking franchise? money from me for the franchise fees. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I keep telling Dalit, you should pay me for doing this. <laughs> Jokes apart, I really believe I would like to be the twelfth man of my team to bring water onto the field. And I say this with not just being humble, but even just uh, you know, even just symbolically, mm. I want people to understand that whether you're an owner, whether you're a fan, whether you're a watcher. Whether you are someone who likes or dislikes or has problems with cricket at this level, the idea is you got to play it together. I hope this team outgrows uh, my image. Mm. Uh, I really hope so. I mean, I to me, like you asked, what would you prefer to have a trophy of IPL? I think it would naturally follow if I get a trophy of IPL, uh, inshallah, and quickly in the next one or two years. And if the team is known as uh, Kolkata Knight Riders and they say owner koon hai iska, say oh apna yaar. Movies make up. Sharu, can you share? Yeah, I would. I would prefer that. I would like this team to be known for its cricket. Uh, but till such time, like a father, I will keep supporting it and uh, keep making the team laugh, laugh even when they're losing. And then one fine day, like a father, uh, the son should become a little more famous. Mm -hmm. It's so strange. You keep telling me, so I'm always going out a little blank because everything we've done well except won this tournament. <laughs> you know, we've uh, we've made the money. We are popular. We have good videos. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of crowds. Only we haven't won it. Yeah, that's the only small detail. Uh, like Maybe you're just going to do it holly holly. You know, you'll work your way up the ranks. See, as an actor, when I have a flop film, uh, which I've had, I'm like, I can, you know, just sort of, okay, okay next wala, esa, whatever. I know why it's gone wrong. I get a feedback. I go back next time a little more prepared. Here it is. I don't know how to prepare myself. I'm not batting. I'm not bowling. <laughs> I just they jump harder. Man. Yeah, they don't need a 12th man. I'm like, you know, nobody needs a 12th man. And I can I can I just jump harder and make them win? So uh, on, on on all fronts, it's a beautiful experience. Our Kolkata. I think the last time my logo was, you never win the silver, you always lose the gold. Hmm. Now the new uh, line of a code of conduct is, 
Night Riders teaches you, Kolkata Night Riders teaches you how to lose, but not be losers. <laughs> so we've changed it around smartly and still we are trying to be winners. So NDTV, please stick with us, PAMP and uh, all, all the team, uh, Roy Saab and Barkha and all of you, stick together, we'll go, I promise you, I'll fly you free to South Africa in the finals, we'll carry the trophy, I'll get you in a private jet, we'll have champagne, we'll have fun, you know, finally, sports will be exciting. Just <laughs> let me into it. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll make parties in the sport. Now that we have truly been put in our place by being told that sports is not exciting, we shall, we shall, we shall leave it at that. But yes, it would be lovely to see you, whether you fly us or not. Uh, it would be lovely to see you. I'm the bribing party. you. <laughs> <laughs> and we will be your lucky factor. Sharuk, thank you so much for speaking to us. And most of all, for bearing with us boring sports guys who have no excitement in our lives but for IPL. You see, which t-shirt of Reebok sells the most? Can't well. Then, so I'm not saying sports is boring. <laughs> it just doesn't sell as much as my T-shirt. <laughs> okay, I'll have to uh, beg Anisha Beg for a job. <laughs> but while I do that, thank you so much for speaking God bless to you. us thank today. You very much. All the best. Thanks a lot.